Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. You know, I was just going through Jan Likun's tweet and what I saw was mind blowing. We have a new commercially available large language model called Llama 2. So Meta has now released Llama 2 model, which is commercially available. Of course, there are a few clauses that we will discuss, but this is commercially available to use. And this model will be available through different hyperscalers, you know, Microsoft Azure, for example, AWS, and there are already, you know, on Hugging Face, they have released the model weights. You can download the model and you can run it in your infrastructure and in your network. Okay. And it's a huge breakthrough when it comes to, you know, open source community because people like me, I'm a huge advocate of open source community, open source AI. Okay. Because we have seen model like models like GPT-3 and GPT-4, which are closed source model. Okay, now we have, you know, we, we have this race of generative AI and we have, we have been saying that open source will win this race. And earlier Meta has released Lama models, okay, different Lama models that they have released and, but those were not commercially available. So enterprises were not able to use those models. Okay, those were mainly for, you know, educational and research purposes. But this model that Meta has released called Lama 2, which is available in three different weight sizes that we'll discuss. 7 billion 13 billion and you know also 16 billion so if you if you jump in here on this website called ai.meta.com slash llama which is meta ai website they say introducing llama 2 the next generation of our open source large language model and guys we have to give credit to meta previously facebook for this entire ecosystem of open source community because the llama model was breakthrough Okay, months ago when OpenAI released GPT uh, 3.5 and 4, Llama was the breakthrough and then the community follows and they came up with Falcon, MPTs of the world and different other models, right? So now they have released Llama 2, which is commercially available. You can see it says available for free for research and commercial use. You can download the model. They have all the details over here. You can read it. Let's have an overview about the model. It says... Llama 2 was trained on 40% more data than Llama 1. So previous model that we're talking about Llama 1, double the context length, which is very important. So if you see the context length here, it has now tokens of 4096 as a token when it comes to context length. Earlier it was half of it when we talk about, you know, Llama 1. You can see the pre-training tokens. It has been trained for this uh, model on pre-training tokens of 2 trillion tokens, which is huge anyway. Then they have followed a supervised fine-tuning approach for data collection over over you know 100000 tokens and then human preferences over you can see this number there right so fine tuned model have been trained on over one they ha it has performed very good on mmlu and some of the other benchmarking that we have seen you can you, know, you can see it over here we're talking about mmlu over here you can see the score for llama 2 which is far more than all other models like even if you see llama 1 see it's not it's not right to compare, you know, the 7B models with a 70B model on the on a benchmarking score. Uh, so we should not compare that 7B model with 70B model, but we can compare at least 40 and 65B models. And you can see the performance on MMLU and human eval, which is again a, a combination of more than 150 coding problems you know, on human eval. Okay, so you can see the performance has been fantastic. So the, risk, the results are very encouraging right now for the community to, you know, utilize this in different use cases when we are going to implement this. There are more models. You can see the technical details. I'm going to click a right click and it will take you to the Llama uh, 2 resource. You can see over here, right? Free and you can read more about it. Model code, model weights, read me, etc. Technical, the paper. We're going to discuss the paper in a bit. And you can see the abstract over here. Uh, we're going to download the paper and we are going to read the paper a bit you know, to understand and they have the partners, it will come on Microsoft, AWS, and this might happen through Hugging Face AWS partnership, right? They have DLC, deep learning containers, you know, so most of the Hugging Face models are, you can directly deploy it on AWS through SageMaker with DLC, deep learning container by just few line of code. That's what I think we will also see it for Llama 2 as well, right? Uh, very soon we'll see that. And then they're talking about, they have taken a different approach you know, while fine tuning this model about, you know, safety and the way they have trained it. That's, that's what you can read it in this responsible use guide. Okay. So you can read all this on the website. I will not talk about on these things because this all already available. You can go ahead and read this. Okay. The interest is on the paper. You can see the research paper, Gen AI Meta, the abstracts, and it's a 
it's a very big paper by the way it's a lengthy paper of more than 70 pages you can go through and read the way they have trained and it's very interesting because now this will work as a you know this will set the direction for all other models that are going to release in future okay, this is very very fundamental guys okay, open foundation and fine-tuned chat models now very interestingly we also have this model cards on hugging face for llama 2 you can see it over here so we have 7 billion model which is a, a smaller one and then we go till 70b so they have three different categories of model when it comes to model parameters you can see the llama 2 hf link over here they have chat so you can see the chat based model you can also have find the models over here you can just go ahead expand it let's have a look at llama 270b chat hf which is for text generation okay most of these are again multi-purpose you can do it for coding text etc right so let's have a look at llama 270b chat now the important thing here is i'm showing you this deploy i was talking about dlc deep learning containers on aws if you click on SageMaker, you can just directly deploy this model right there on you know uh, on notebook okay you can just do it over you do it from here and you can just try it out okay how it how it works okay so you can see it first we have to log in and we have to you know uh, 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 accept their terms and conditions etc to you know uh, access this but well, this is very interesting guys right so you can see the carbon footprint information has been given for how many hours you know it was trained on and everything right so this is this is very interesting okay so uh, we would, what we can do we can also use this to deploy it now we will deploy this very soon on AWS and see what kind of responses we are getting. But there are already some spaces. You can you can explore it over here. Let me see if this works or because this has been released today only. Yeah, this model you don't know if this you know, this is going to work. Okay, if you see this, it says Llama 270B chatbot. I just want to write uh, something like okay, write a function for creating a login space design in react js something like that okay my this is my prompt that i'm making very simple prompt i'm gonna submit and see if it what it says okay what it gives you so currently you can see it's it's giving an error which makes sense i don't uh, i'm not assuming that this will work out right now on the spaces but it still runs but the infrastructure cost will be very high if you want to set it up okay now let's go back on here and try out the other as well and see if this is again giving any error. somebody has deployed this on the hugging face spaces so if you just want to test it out of the few of your coding problems and the few of the prompts that you have you can explore these spaces let's try out the same and see if we still if this also gives an error to us okay. so if, if this also gives an error we can just deploy it in the next video when we are creating a you know full-fledged video on this now if you click on submit you can see let it load it will take a little time but you can see it over here the model weights go on the files and version probably we have to log in and then you know request will be processed in one or two days so they will give you the access because it has been released just right now right so it's very difficult to get the access right away okay and that's why probably you can see it though see it over here we got a response here's an example function for creating a login page design in react js import react from react this is fantastic we can test it out you know if this this is executable and it gives the result right so you can just try it out i'll give the link in the description for this spaces and the hugging face model card you can try it out yourself but the the right way of deploying this guys and if you want to quickly test it out go on SageMaker notebook click on this SageMaker, copy this code you don't have to make a lot of changes here maybe you have to change the instance type to support the infrastructure this might not work for this model you have to take a you know higher instance just change this take a better instance and deploy it it will give you an endpoint on sales maker uh, aws sales maker and then you can create a lambda function to do that right so we'll, we'll do that in the next video so you can now access it build applications for enterprises with uh, again or uh, with all the you know guardrails and a lot of other principles that we follow in the ethical and responsible ai we can do that right so let's go to meta llama card here the model card you can find out all the models over here you can see all the models from this to that right this is fantastic this is outstanding to me you know i really i'm really loving this i'm gonna just spend some time on this to create a uh, demo video uh, by deploying it and testing it out maybe we can see the support with langchain and all if there is any support right now okay now you can read about this so 
this is what I wanted to you know create in this video guys okay but there are some limitations even on the licenses you know so from one of their clauses if I can read that right it says on the Llama 2 version release date the monthly active users of the product or services made available by or for the licenses or the licensee affiliates is greater than 700 million so if the active user exceeds the limit of 700 million in that month so for the for the next month you have to take a license from meta okay you have to you must take a license and they may grant it based on sole discrimination so there are a lot of other factors that we have to go through and read on the uh, clauses in the licenses okay just don't blindly go and say okay this is commercially available and we can use it it is commercially available but there will be clauses that we have to be very careful when we are you know using it in the enterprise setting okay so few of the things that are good right now is that it has increased uh, context size okay it, which it is available through different hyperscalers microsoft azure and aws and it's also available on the hugging face uh, ai community and it has uh, this uh, better uh, way of training the fine tuning they have followed some safety protocols while you know training the model and it has been trained on the double size of tokens when they were training it i think it's two trillion as we were reading right so very exciting guys you know i just wanted to give you this update about the model that has been released i was so excited after seeing the yan likun's tweet and in the next video i will take a huge case and will use llama 2 to deploy this model on aws SageMaker, and we'll also try to see if there is uh, an, an integration with langchain coming soon probably okay, and we're also waiting for bloke on hugging face to you know create a quantized version of this model maybe some quantized version of 4 bit or 8 bit or something that we can use it you know with a limited infrastructure you know natively and locally in our system right that's what so stay tuned for more updates you know i will create a few videos on llama 2 that i'm sure on but that will be more on project based videos we'll try to implement a use case with llama 2 and we'll, we'll match the performances with other models like falcons etc or mpts that's all for today's video guys i hope you like this introductory or you know awareness video okay if you like the video please you know, hit the like icon okay if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and share the videos and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one guys